Hey there, welcome back guys. Today we're going to be going over the Avada. We're going to be doing the motor upgrade. Finally, we've waited long enough. Um, so why not give it a shot? We tested it out in a previous video on how it is um, with the uh, camera mount before the upgrade and it strains a lot and I get, you know, you can hear it like just doing overkill on the current motors and who knows, they say the uh, motor upgrade supposed to be better, but um, without any further ado, let's get started and check this out and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to put this baby back together and have it flying in no time.
was phenomenal i mean this is amazing i didn't get paid to review this i just bought it and you know it's something i always wanted to do i see a lot of videos where um you know people are on the fence a speculation is not really positive about it but this thing is great i got about almost eight to nine minutes on the first battery the other battery since it was sitting around i guess it was set to dissipate but it got about probably five minutes around there but whatever i got doesn't compare to what it is because the flight is phenomenal and you you probably want if you, you know if you train for your flight path and pattern you know it usually takes one or two takes anyway so you probably use two batteries but um what i like is that there was no struggle you know it's a little sensitive sensitive in a sense where you got to get used to flying it but it the the um avada is not struggling it's not hurting um there was some some um uh times in the beginning where I was a little bit worried. I was like, oh no, what just happened? Um, and then I was just moving too fast. You know, you have to get used to the throttle position because very easily fly um, uh, uh, 15 to 17 miles per hour on the um, on uh, normal mode. I haven't tested to see how fast it actually goes in sport mode, but just checking everything, looking everything over, making sure, you know, none of the wires are, um, you know, touching, but, uh, or not, you know, cause they, they are a little bit longer, but then they're all right. They'll, they'll, they'll definitely hold. Uh, you just probably put tape around one, but other than that, I don't, you know, see it, you know, impeding the flight, but yeah, I'd say do the uh, motor upgrade. If you're comfortable soldering, do the motor upgrade. If you want to fly with your action Four camera on there, uh, the last video was recorded in 4k uh 1080 no 4k 60 frames per second so we'll compare that um you know in, in the end but um I'll, I'll just let it play after i say see you all next time and then this you know you guys decide for yourself but all in all it's more powerful i think this is how the avada should have been shipped now as for um if you're uh you know, someone who flies in manual mode i don't know you know i don't um you know, you know, you know I, I can't say what that experience is like because I'm not there yet, but I can say what it was almost like. The speed was just, and the agility and the angle, I just can't imagine it. Oh, and the other thing is that um, the drone held really steady. I noticed that the uh, in the goggles, the footage was um, nice and steady. And before the motor upgrade with the um, camera on there, you'll notice if you look back on the other video, you'll, you see that it was just a little bit wobbly, you know, like it just couldn't hold. But the software inside the Avada camera footage was fine because I guess that's where all the magic happens with the Rocksteady uh, stuff. Uh, but inside the goggles, it didn't matter because it just held nicely. There was a point in the beginning where it did like that because I was like, oh my God, what's happening? Because it was like too much power. I just didn't know what to do with it. Um, so if you're new to that, but other than that, yeah, it's a, it's a totally, it's a badass drone. Um, and then you probably need four batteries or three um, or two, you know, you decide depending on what you're going to be doing, if you're content creating or doing stuff for real estate, you probably need four batteries so that you can just get the, you know, the, the uh, Avada will just maintain that, that footage for you, um, that you want. And, um, you know, just check everything. 
after each flight to make sure you know nothing's loose or or um you know being that it's a uh, uh whatchamacallit it's a it's it's a rebuild on the build it's a customization so you always just always want to just make sure everything is up to par no moving parts or has fpv unknown would say make sure you dry lock everything um uh, but other than that wow and i see myself flying this more often too um but at the end of the day you decide how you're gonna modify your fpv collection but anyway i hope this video helped you better understanding the motor upgrade for the dji avada also known as the afix flying uh motors if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time